everyone, this is Lala from TheRainQueen.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take macro photos easily and cheaply with a regular point and shoot. As you may know from my other videos, I love the garden and one of my favorite things about gardening is taking pictures of flowers, insects and small little creepy crawlies that are all over the garden. And for that, you need to be able to take macro pictures. But for most people, buying a DSLR and an expensive 100mm lens may not be a good option if they're not sure that they are serious about photography yet. So I'm going to show you how to get started with a point and shoot like I did. To take macro pictures with a DSLR, you would typically use a 100mm prime lens like this Canon 100mm L lens 2.8. These lenses are however extremely expensive. For example, this lens costs more than double the latest model of this point and shoot. You may not be aware of this, but point and shoot cameras can have little attachments added to the front of the lens, much like a DSLR but for much cheaper. You can buy these three on Amazon. This attachment is a filter thread attachment. It goes onto the front of the lens and allows you to put things like UV filters and different add-on lenses onto your compact camera. It attaches quite easily like this. It will snap on, there we go. And now it's made the front of the lens a little bit bigger to accommodate a different sort of rings that you can attach to the front. For this one, the next thing that we will need in order to attach a macro uh, little lens is something called a step down ring. Okay, now this one is a 67 millimeter to 55 millimeter step down ring. And you would simply screw that onto the front of your camera's um, new thread. And lastly, this is a little macro lens, extremely affordable and available widely online. That you would screw on to your step down ring. There you have it. This is a very easy way to achieve macro style pictures with your point and shoot camera. Typically, the filter thread and the step up and step down rings tend to come in a set when you buy them on Amazon. This is really great because you can then have more versatility from your point and shoot. Apart from attaching little macro lenses like this one, you can also attach telephoto and wide angle lenses. So you'd be able to take great pictures and videos of craters on the moon. With the wide angle, you can take some architectural pictures, um, some great outdoor panoramic pictures as well. So uh, these step up, step down rings, the filter threads really help you to get the most out of your point and shoot. I recommend this for anybody that's starting out a blogging, a YouTube channel, or if you've got a little interest in photography, but you don't know if you are going to be in it for the long haul and you don't necessarily want to invest a lot of money at the outset.